Cynthia, where were you when you first learnt that Tony was involved in the Tet Offensive? Well, I was at, odd as it may seem, I didn't find out until about 12 hours after the start of the offensive because uh, it was Chinese New Year, obviously, and we'd had, we did have quite a luxurious sort of way of life and I was spending the day at the Tangling Club with the children. This is in Singapore? In Singapore, because I was too lazy to cook, you see. And um, about seven o'clock that night, Val Hollandshed came to pick me up to go to somebody's place for a drink, a Chinese person's place for a New Year drink. And on the way, she said to me a couple of times, um, how are you feeling? And I said, great, fine. And then she said, and about the third time I said, well, why are you asking how I'm feeling? You know, what, what's it all about? And she then told me what had happened. And the rather extraordinary thing that struck me even then was that at the Tanglin Club, which was a fairly heavily populated sort of place, no one mentioned it all day. A lot of members were army people and not a word was said. How did you receive the news that, that Tony was involved in what to that point was the biggest event in the Vietnam War? Oh, I was scared stiff. Yeah? Um, did it uh, emotionally, how did, you, how did you handle it? I mean, uh, every day you'd wake up, I'd imagine, and uh, you had to take the children off the school and uh, face the rest of the day. What was it like? Awful, but the thing that helped all of us, I think, was that there were quite a lot of other women involved, whose, 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 at least whose husbands were involved. And we spent a lot of time together, and, and that way I suppose helped each other. And uh, I imagine it would be almost as frightening as actually being there, knowing or not knowing what was going was, on. Yes, it was. It was... I'm not good at handling that sort of thing. How women live through the wars, I don't know, with the, so, you know, with the same kind of... Uh -huh. Did you have any communication with Tony while he was covering the war? Only really via the ABC, uh -huh. um, because nothing was coming out, you uh -huh. see. There weren't any aeroplanes or anything coming out. How long before you received word from him after Ted had started? Uh, really from him, via the ABC, I mean, yeah. the next day. Uh -huh. But you didn't hear from him personally no. for how long? A couple of weeks? Well, the whole time. Yeah, really. And uh, you mentioned before to me about the incident with uh, the Chinese lady. Can you just recount for me what that was about? Oh, with the armour, mm. when he was coming home. Right. Yes, I said to her on the, right at the, at the end of the month he could either come out um, Air Vietnam on, on the Saturday or wait till Monday and come with Pan American. Air Vietnam had a fairly disastrous sort of record and I really didn't know which to pray for. So I said to Kim... Um, Your Chinese cook? Yes. Kim, I don't know what to hope. And she said, Mim, I think... Yeah. Uh, I think you hope he come to the Tuan come Saturday better. So I prayed for that. I don't often pray either, by the way. And he came out on the Saturday. But uh, uh, regarding how we got on, people were terribly good too and telephoned and came in. You know, we had, I had visitors constantly. But one, re really, the only funny thing that happened in the whole month, I think, was one day I was met by a woman, I met a woman, an Australian, whose husband had a very leading job, so one would have assumed that she had a fair amount of common sense. And she asked me um, how I was getting on. And I gave my usual pet answer that I gave to everybody. And, uh, but then she just looked at me and tapped me on the arm like that and said, oh, never mind, dear, I wouldn't worry, it's probably a lot of paper talk. <laughs> really? Which I thought was quite unreal, because every newspaper in the world had it splashed across. And yeah, it's obviously an experience you don't want to go through again. No. All right. Thank you. Good. Cut. It wasn't as good as the... Uh, I think you rose that